This is Acapella Science's Bohemian Gravity, explained for kids. Is it theory or is it just fantasy? Caught in the landscape, out of touch with reality. Come back to five, on this five or two star as three. Those funny equations are types of compactification which is hiding away extra dimensions and will be explained later in the video. This is a pill Why should it be stringy? Is this quantum not classical? Quantum is a property that describes tiny, tiny things like atoms and electrons. Classical is the physics we're used to. Go gravity! Renormalization is a strange process where you add infinities to get rid of other infinities, and non-renormalizable means that you can't do that to your theory. Quanta are energy chunks like um, you can that you can when you're quantum you can only use whole numbers of them so you can't emit say 1.5 quanta you have to do two or one understand. Feynman diagrams are diagrams of colliding particles, a bit like they've shown here. Boom! <laughs> are types of matter particle. And all other states of matter. A graviton is a gravity particle that's emitted by one object over here and absorbed by another object over here and it creates an overall attractive force. However, it's only being we can only see really see the effects at macroscopic scales. Um, <laughs> even the gravitational attraction between two people is very little. You need to be as big as a planet to have a significant gravitational attraction. Wait, no, at least as big as a planet. Well, or a moon, perhaps. But the moon doesn't have that much gravitational attraction. A quarter of Earth's. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. Not a field like a farm field or a football field. More like a field that they have drawn or when you picture space-time as a rubber mat with basket get balls in, the, in it being gravity dense, it being the rubber mat. By diverge they mean that uh, by the fact by our results diverge it means that their results have two different equally likely conclusions. Like when you divide by zero, you get positive infinity or negative infinity. And it means 
that it means that they're equally likely and uh, it's annoying. A quantum soup is a recently proposed state of matter. It hasn't been discovered yet, just proposed. Einstein's theory being incomplete has been quite a problem ever since quantum mechanics was invented. Um, but string theory and loop quantum gravity are competing to solve to solve that problem. <coughs> I'm personally on team string theory. <laughs> Talking about the string things that are the base of strings, so, sorry, tongue tied, all that la la la. They're talking about the strings that are the base of string theory because they're 1D with no mass. What's their use? What's their use? Quark plasma. Quark plasma is a recently discovered state of matter. Minds what function that describes this string? That means how does this string look mathematically? They're referring to the simplest part of bosonic string theory, which is the simplest string theory. Yet that Nambu-Gato thing is still completely complicated. That's how complicated string theory is. They're talking about um, a calculation that allows you to know the space-time diagram. Space-time diagram is a diagram of space going this way and, and time going that way. That is when you're looking at it. And so you get to know these space time diagrams of the one D string thingy of bobs. A world sheet is that space time diagram. A wild symmetry is a symmetry where you do a bunch of crazy calculations to your theory and your theory turns out the same, then it has wild symmetry. And I don't know what repermetrize means. Fermi bows is an extremely important string theory equivalence, and I don't know much else. Vibration flows, they become particles, particles. Brains become particles, particles. They just basically said that the one when the one these string things vibrate in different ways, modes, they become different particles, like quarks and electrons and gluons. A tachyon is a backwards time traveling particle. It goes backwards in time. In fact, you could say it's Strau cab. A dilaton is a high dimension particle, and I don't know much else. Gravity! I don't know much about an anomaly cancellation other than it's a symmetry breaker or something. Or it normally is. But it has this side effect of ten dimensions or whatever. So to get down to 40, we compact it by. Okay, love. Both must be Kayla. A Kayla manifold 
is is a funny wobbly bobbly seven dimensional shape which apparently has three holes for the three particle families You may say what supersymmetry was? Oh. It's okay, go ahead. Oops, I accidentally forgot to explain supersymmetry. I'll explain it now. Um, supersymmetry, you f you have to first know rotational symmetry, which is when you rotate something, and it turns out the same, that's rotational symmetry. Now imagine applying this to particles and putting it up in a higher dimension. That's supersymmetry. And one, one, 2a and 2b, and heteronico and heterotic e, the, all those are different types of string theory. M theory is the mother of all string theory. That's why it's called M theory. And it's basically all the string theories combined in a symmetric way. I don't know much. <laughs> Moldosan and Yang Mills are important theoretical physicists, and this ADS-CFT holography, as they're about to say, is Moldosan's theory, and um, it's this important string theory equivalence, apparently, and um, it has something to do with space, what, that's what the S is. <laughs> Summed up all the properties of string theory. <laughs> Song is over. Hope you enjoyed my explanations. If you want to see the whole video, including the talking at the end, without being paused all the time, visit Acapella Sign, Bohemian Gravity at Acapella Science on YouTube. Bye.